집에서 모니터가 좀 낮아서 그렇게 다 같이 Once your organization is global, you can develop a global business strategy. At PepsiCo, we have 400 plus brands around the world, but we've chosen 12 of them to be mega brands like Pepsi Soda and Lay's Potato Chips. These brands will have a global innovation platform and marketing campaign. But how we support these global brands in different markets depends on each brand's local position. And that depends on things like the brand's market share. Different markets depends on each brand's local position, like Pepsi Soda and Lay's Potato Chips. These brands will have a global innovation platform and marketing campaign. So what's the global part of Pepsi and Lay's crisps? What part is global of their business strategy? Did you catch that? Listen again here. Innovation platform and marketing campaign. What two things does she say here would be global of these mega brands? Chips. These brands will have a global innovation platform and marketing campaigns. Okay, so global is innovation platform. You understand innovation? Yes. Like R and D. Okay. And what else? Okay. What? Marketing. Marketing. So if you look at the Pepsi ad in Korea, maybe it's the same seem very similar to the Pepsi ad in the US. They might use the same advertising. Maybe they have some famous person drinking Pepsi. Right? Something like that. <coughs> Uh, then the R&D, they're doing some research and development to make some new crisps or like Lay's or a new way for the cola, like maybe a new <coughs> bottle or a new can, right? So those things is all global. Okay, everybody, instead of having, do you understand R&D? Instead of having R&D in every country, right? So we'll look later in some place like L'Oreal, in the case, L'Oreal likes to have R&D in China because it likes to have Chinese scientists working out what cosmetic product is good for Chinese skin, and Chinese women, men, right? But most, most companies, R&D, they like to have global because it saves the cost, right? These people could be working on the same problem in different countries. But if we want to make a new bottle for Pepsi or a new taste, right? We can put the R&D all together in one country, like for innovation, okay? And the same for marketing. And these they call them global mega brands. They want to make some marketing idea which is used all around the world. So if you are traveling, you will see the same advertisement. But how we support these global brands in different markets depends on each brand's local position. Okay, then. What are they going to do in the local market? It depends on the <laughs> position of the brand in the local market, okay? And that depends on things like the brand's market share. Do you understand market share? Yeah. Right, so does Pepsi have a big market share in Korea? I think so. What percentage <coughs> would you say is its market share in the soft drinks? 30%. 30%? Yeah. What about Coca-Cola? 70 well, soft drinks include uh, orange and Fanta and cider and all those things. What percent do you think Pepsi might have in Korea? Less than 10? Less than Coca-Cola? Coca-Cola has double? Okay. So they have to look at their market share. The nature of the competition. And competition, right? Does Pepsi have much competition in Korea? Cider. What company makes cider? Chilsung. Chilsung, right? They don't have Chilsung in the US, okay, or in other countries. So maybe they have tough competition in Korea because of Chilsung, right? A lot of green people drink cider with their meal. What would you have if you go to eat Samgyeopsal? Cider or Pepsi? Cider. Why? 
Why is not successful? Good combination. <laughs> like wine and steak. Some gopsal and cider. Okay. So they have they have to look at the competition. From the brand's growth potential. And the growth potential. Is it possible to grow or not? For example, suppose a brand has a strong growth potential but limited market share and tough competition in a local market. So imagine we have Pepsi. It doesn't have much market share and it has a lot of competition. But it can grow. There is potential. They could sell a lot of Pepsi. Right? <coughs> could grow from 7% to 10% to 15% of the market share. In this case, we might want to invest heavily in supporting its growth by directly attacking its competitors. When you bring together... So in this case, you are going to make a local strategy. In this case, it's going to be attacking competitors. So can you think of any strategy to attack the competitor? Lower the price. Yeah, so make some special discount, right? Special offer, a special discount, so people buy your product and they don't buy, even though you're losing money, they're not buying the competitors. So you're attacking the competitor, right? Or do a lot of advertising. Their global focus and local execution, you reduce costs.